Yep, there we go. In the net he goes. Brilliant, absolutely mega stuff. Whew. Well, we've got another nice little barbell on, a bit smaller than the last one. Well, this chub is exactly what I've come for. Welcome back to the channel. I finally arrived in this swim after going through a few jungles. This one looks pretty good. It's a little bit deeper and there's some really good snags down to the left. So I'm gonna get this rod rigged up, put in a little bit of bait and then uh, give it a good hour in here and see if we can pull anything out. If not, I'll move down and possibly come back and fish this one later. rigged up and out fishing. Um, I chucked in a couple handfuls of pellets, mixed pellets, just to drift down and hopefully tempt some chub out from under those bushes. And I've got the quiver tip on um, with two six mil pellets currently, like a soft hookable and then a hard one, both sort of banded on really. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed for this swim. Well, all quiet in this first swim. I've just topped up the bait and then I'm gonna head off and find another swim a little bit further down and we'll come back to this one in just a little bit, probably an hour or so time. So it has a chance to rest and hopefully draw some fish up. Anyway, let's go find another swim. so slight taps on the rod tip. Um, if I wasn't using a fine quiver tip, I probably would not have seen them. So I'm not sure if they're chub, just um, getting the boily in their lips that I'm fishing at the moment. Um, I don't know whether to scale down and go back to pellets, uh, like I was fishing in the swim just up the way, or um, it's just coming round to about half an hour in this swim. So I might do the uh, other thing where I just put a few more pellets in and then fish another swim, um, and I'll come back to fish this one in due turn as well. We're in. Oh, I knew we were gonna get a chub in this swim. Well, it might be a barbel. <laughs> I hope it's not a barbel, because I'm not equipped. Yes, it is a barbel, I think. Yes, a barbel. A little barbel, fortunately. Gave a cracking bite. Big head shake, so it made me think it was a big chub to start with. Yeah, there we go. In the net he goes. Brilliant, absolutely mega stuff. That's not a bad fish at all, that. Well, an absolutely brilliant rivenid barbel, uh, gate crashing my supposed chub fishing party, but what an absolute beast of a fish. Probably my biggest barbel this season, I think so far. Absolutely mega. I'm gonna get a quick weight and slip it back as quickly as we can. Well, that was an absolutely brilliant barbel. Five pounds, 10 ounces there. Not the chub I was after, but you know, we'll allow it. Cracking fish like that, always welcome in my net. I'm gonna head back up the river to the previous swim I was in where I put in a little bit of bait and just see if anything is happening in there now.
Well, I'm back in the first swim. We've been fishing 20 minutes already. Um, I did reel in because I just had a feeling that something wasn't quite right down there. And yeah, we were covered in this silkweed. Um, I think I've presented the bait more cleanly now, but to be perfectly frank, I'm not going to give it too long before I move back to the other swim or just find a different swim completely. I'm just not confident that the bait is presented particularly well here with all of the weed that's around. Well, it's just starting to get a little bit dark and a little bit cold, so we're back on with the jumper and I've slipped into a new swim now. It's a little bit shallower than the ones I've been fishing, but it is getting darker as I said, so maybe that will give some fish a bit more confidence. I'm actually going to switch bait as well and fish an 8mm pellet rather than a boilie. Um, and ow, spiky spiky bush I just grabbed. Anyway, so we're going to band up with an 8mm pellet and see if that will do us anything. Uh, I was going to say we'll wrap that in some paste as well, just for a little extra attraction that will obviously wash down. So I'm going to get rigged up and then cast out to one of the bushes uh, upstream. Yeah, we're in, we're in. I think this is a chub. That's in the way it's fighting, but you never know. We'll see when it comes up. No, little barbel. Just saw a flash of the tail there. Just gave it away. No, not into the reeds. That is not what we want at all. There we go. Yep, there we go in the net. Brill. Absolutely good, good, good stuff. Ah. Well, we've got another nice little barbell on. A bit smaller than the last one. It's, uh, ooh, feisty. Barely, uh, Get hold of it but uh very quickly there it is what a nice little hard fighting barbel let's get this resting back in the river uh, ready to slip it back to its home Yeah, well, we're in again. Feels like another good fish. It's probably a barbel, I think. Although I've been wrong on the last one. It's going to slacken the drag slightly, I think, actually. It's not only fishing a six pound bottom. Is that no, that's a chub, a good chub, I think. Let's get that in the net. Yeah, target species acquired. Brilliant. That's a nice fish, that. Well, this chub is exactly what I've come for. Look at that. Absolute beast. A real donkey of a chub. We're going to get it thrown on the scales and uh, just see what it will go. But it's easily a four pounder, I reckon. Let's uh, get it weighed up and see what it weighs. Well, after a quick weigh, that fish, that chub, went four pounds exactly. I thought it was going to be a little bit heavier than that, but uh, a brilliant fish, target species, more than happy with that. Did a slight rig adjustment and fished an eight mil pellet wrapped in paste, and that did the business. I had a couple of taps and then finally managed to connect to one. Just wiping off uh, water, washed my hands in the river after handling that fish, uh, getting my hands nice and wet to handle it as well. So uh, we're just going to let it chill in the net, rebait, things like that, get my rig back out of position and then slip this chub back when it's starting to kick in the net.
Well, I've just packed down all of my kit. It's really time to head off home now. I've had an absolutely mega session down here, landing a few barbel and then one four pound chub in the end, my target of this session. So I really can't complain about that or that I've got to go home. I'd happily fish all night. There's been fish crashing up and downstream. I can hear them. So they're clearly in a little bit of a feeding mode right now. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, please leave me a comment down below, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I release videos like this semi-regularly. Uh, and as always, I hope to see you in future content. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.